Hey, my name is Kyrie Gaskins and I've been restored. I've been at Restoration about five years now. Um, actually, I visited Restoration in about 2013 to be exact. And I came with my brother, Cora Relifer. He led me here um, with my mom, of course, on a weekend. And I said, after attending the service, I said if I ever came back near Atlanta, Georgia, I was coming back to this church. I'm from Fitzgerald, it's a small town. Uh, everyone knows everyone. Um, it's not much to do. Uh, just growing up, I began to get into a whole lot of things that I didn't really should have gotten, I shouldn't have gotten into. But um, along the road, I got lost and I felt, and I felt uh, myself getting lost. And I just began to go too deep. Uh, when I say too deep, I began to engage in a lot of drug activities, uh, uh, gambling, uh, associating myself with robbers and drug addicts and that was my everyday crowd of people to hang around. Before I came to Restoration, um, I was leaving Valdosta State, which is, was the college I was attending. And um, previously at Valdosta State, everything began to uh, crumble down. And, um, everything just began to fall apart. So I began to retract my life. And one day, one day I, I was looking in the mirror after brushing my teeth. And God just began to take me back to my younger self. And I remember when I was having fun, but I wasn't doing all these extracurricular activities. So um, at that moment, it kind of like I had like a, a truth moment in the mirror. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to start living right. I'm going to try to live, you know, the way, the way I was brought up. Um, after that incident, I began to go back to my hometown. Like I said, everything fell apart. Uh, after leaving college, everything fell apart. And once I went home, um, I was at my local church, because like I said, I was seeking at the time, so at my local church, I began to serve and uh, usher and play part of security, and, and things were going good, but my only downfall was I couldn't stay away from familiarity. I couldn't stay away from the hood, which everything is the hood where I'm from. But I couldn't go to church and go straight home without stopping through hollering at familiar friends or people who were still doing what I was used to doing. Um, I was at this spot particularly that we called the trap. And this is where I would go every day. Every day I would go here. I, might, I would sit here for numerous hours. And um, this time I had a job, and my job had laid me off. And I was chilling over here in this particular spot, and one of the guys that I knew called and gave me a word, and he was just saying that he needed me to change my life, pretty much. He needed me to go, he needed me to get my life right because there's a lot of people watching me, and if I don't get my life right, then they was gonna miss their blessing. He said I was an eagle, but I was hanging around buzzards. And if I didn't get from around them, they was gonna tear me down and eat me up. Um, my job laid me off, and it was kind of like perfect timing. I worked for seven months, and they laid me off. And I was like, man, I said I was gonna move to Atlanta once I reached $5,000, but I never reached it. But they laid me off before I met my pinnacle. So I received that word, and my sister was getting ready to get released from the halfway house, and we took a trip to Atlanta. And I told my mom before we left, I said, hey, I don't think I'm coming back. And it went in two weeks. They bust that spot, the FBI police bust that spot that I would go to every day and do the same thing. And all of my homies are up the road right now doing time. Oh, man. Pastor, Pastor Barry Kelly, Pastor Julie, uh, coming here. Uh, they definitely have impacted my life uh, tremendously. They helped me to get in depth with my spirituality. spirituality. Uh, I can say if I never moved here, 
uh, I probably want to reach um, the certain pinnacle that I am now because, like I say, it's limited uh, where I'm from. So they've, they've helped me get in depth with my spirituality. They helped me get in depth uh, dealing with my emotions, and they also helped me to balance my life out. Kyrie is today. Kyrie is a husband. Um, Kyrie is uh, an usher at Resurrection of Life of Jesus Christ Ministries, uh, a greeter, uh, a deacon in training, uh, a father to be. Um, I definitely look forward to continuing to take the ministry to another level. Um, uh, my wife and I. Uh, Jessica Gaskins, Jessica Bills before. Um, She's a great young lady. Um, she's been here. She's actually been here about 13 years. Um, she she works here. Um, the love of my life, of course. Uh, meeting her has definitely. She has helped me in so many ways. Um, growing uh, to the man I am today, and just ooh, it's been an awesome journey. To Apostle Juni and Apostle Kelly, um, I love what you all have going on. I love what you all stand for. Um, I'm definitely watching you all. Um, I know I'm, probably, I'm watching you all probably more than you all think I do. But I just want to say I love you all. I love what you stand for and continue to push and um, push and move forward spiritually and continue to be the selfless people you all are. And I will continue to follow. I love you all.